Now, most of you already know that Neo has started with the deliveries of their new EC7 NT 2.0. This, of course, we found out that Neo had already started with their deliveries of this model last week, Friday, which was something that is amazing. Now, ladies and gents, one of the most anticipated or one of the models that so many of the consumers are waiting for is the Neo ES6. And of course, we know this because the ES6, it was the most watched car oh one of the most watched of course uh, vehicle that was in the auto shanghai which means that of course there are a lot of people that obviously are eyeing that car and i'm not surprised because it's a beauty now you will know that according to neo's plan the neo e S6, they are planning to not only unveil it now in the month of May, but obviously they are also planning to start with the deliveries now. But one thing that really caught my attention and led me into doing this video today, ladies and gents, is that it appears that Neo ES6 or this EX6, ladies and gents, it is already uh, flooding the delivery centers and of course the service centers of Neo. I mean, as seen on the screen, you notice that one of the bloggers said this delivery center is called Nanshian. I mean, I've seen um, already a video on YouTube. I think, I don't know if it was Mr. P who was indicating or showing that the delivery center or one of the Shanghai delivery centers, ladies and gents, uh, has been or it has a couple of ES6, which is something that is incredible because all these uh, new of the ES6 in the delivery centers, in the service centers, it are coming before Neo could officially unveil this model. This is something that is incredible because you will know that <laughs> what is expected to happen is that the day that Neo officially unveils this vehicle or this model is the day that Neo will open, of course, orders of this model, which is something that obviously it makes sense for obviously Neo to start with the preparation because this is a car which is expected to deliver so many vehicles on a month to month. This is a car that is expected to give us some good delivery numbers or bring some good delivery numbers into Neo, which is something that is incredible. And to get to see that obviously this ES6, it is flooding the delivery centers and service centers of Neo in China at the moment. It is something that makes me to be really excited. And I'm not surprised in fact by this because I know that Neo like I've been saying, they are really under pressure to deliver uh, vehicles or, or as many vehicles as possible. So they will try their utmost best to bring out or to deliver this car to people as soon as possible. But of course, before we forget the households, you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video. And I really appreciate it. You can just hit the like button if you are enjoying the content that I'm giving you about NEOs. ES6 or the latest N2 2.0 Neo S ES6 being seen at delivery centers and service centers in China. So if you are enjoying this kind of content, I really appreciate it. You can just hit the like button as it also helps with YouTube's algorithm. Otherwise, if you have not subscribed to the channel already, I also appreciate it. You can just hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content because on this channel, Neo is one of the stocks that we discuss or I discuss a lot because I believe in his fundamentals, his future prospects, and I personally believe that come 2030, as what the CEO of NEO said, NEO will be in the top five of the automakers in the world, which is something that obviously I cannot wait to see NEO get to the top five. I know right now it might not be promising looking at the kind of deliveries NEO is producing or the kind of deliveries that NEO produced for the month of March, those 6,000 or over 6,600 vehicles that NEO produced for the month of April. I know they are, they, are not they are not that exciting. In fact, they were disappointing, but I know that it is a car or this is a company which is uh, still expected to do very well. And like I said in one of my previous videos, this is not the end of NEO. I believe that it is just the start where we see NEO getting ready to do uh, so many wonderful things in terms of deliveries. This is a time where, of course, we are going to see NEO starting to picking up those deliveries and uh, going back up again to hit the record-breaking delivery figures that we have been waiting for. So, yes, I was so quite happy to see Neo officially or the bloggers or some of the people in China giving us sneak peeks 
of what's on the ground and that is in the delivery centers and the service centers which obviously showed that indeed this new ES6 is already being shipped or has already been shipped to some of the service centers and delivery centers in of course China which is something that is incredible now one thing that I think uh, obviously might be obviously still delaying of course uh, this model get out there or to start with the actual deliveries is of course the pricing i think neo is still deciding on how much this car should be this is something that obviously neo should of obviously sit down and really do of course some due diligence because if they make it too cheaper then they are compromising their margins whereas if they make it more expensive then obviously the demand or many people who might not buy this car as we are expecting so neo needs to take a very careful uh, uh, consideration when they decide on the price because obviously another thing if they make it cheaper then they will that of course will have a huge impact into the et5 which is one of the models that is doing very well in terms of sales in neo so i know that obviously once neo officially decides on the price for this car then of course it will either be lights out for this car or yes it might deliver but on an average kind of like scale which is something that of course we don't want that and we want this car to sell like cupcakes so once i think neo decides on the price then we're definitely going to see things starting to move the neo officially unveiling this car and also giving out the price out there otherwise with all that guys i just thought to just give you this quick update if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. Before you load the boat, increase your holdings onto the new stock or buy it for the very first time. Please do your own due diligence so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing onto this uh, stock. I'm still bullish, long and strong. And I believe that one way or the other, this is a company which is just set for greatness. And the short term, of course, uh, headwinds of new delivering low delivery numbers, it's almost coming to an end. And we are going to see new delivering, once again, record breaking uh, deliveries on a month to month, which is something that uh, I, I think most of the retail investors, or in fact, most of the new investors are really looking forward to, of course, the months that are ahead, because we know that records might be coming or records are coming because news target, you'll remember that they plan to deliver 250,000 vehicles for the year 2023 and I think they are going to try their best to get to their target. Otherwise, that's all from me and God bless you all.